Well, a violent weekend in New Orleans bled into today with a homicide in the Broadmoor neighborhood. The weekend saw nine shootings between Friday night and Monday morning. So in total, 12 people were hurt. One would later die. You may not know it, but a member of the city's Office of Gun Violence Prevention responds to every shooting here in the city of New Orleans. WDSU's Morgan Lentis talked exclusively to the director of that office about their efforts to combat crime. She's live in Central City with more on the story and what they said. Morgan? Yeah, so Sola, that office was formed a little over a year ago in April of 2021. And since then, the director says they have made progress that you can measure. But he admits it's a job that's just too big for one organization to tackle alone. You'll see more violence in those areas. Gun violence prevention is a passion project for Patrick Young. We have to learn how to teach social emotional learning, not only in school, but in community. Um, in our homes. We can't just blame one set of folks and say, oh, it's the parents or it's the city. Young says understanding how to manage our emotions will go a long way to solving the city's crime problem. It's a problem he's experienced personally. In the mid 90s, his brother was murdered. Not long after, he ended up in prison. Young says he got a second chance, something his office is trying to give others. Here's the path to redemption. Here's the road to success. You can make it then other people will follow Pat. The office oversees a program putting formerly incarcerated people back to work. Of the 175 served last year, Young says only two ended up back behind bars. Then there is a new partnership with Tulane, looking at crime trends, but more importantly, what's causing them. To be honest, there was no information. And to be transparent and say, hey, we've just been learning and figuring it out is the first step to making progress. But for some, that kind of progress simply takes too long. It's a criticism Young understands. He compared fighting crime to COVID, saying we can only stop the spread if we all work together. We need everybody to buy in and do the same thing to stop the spread of violence. Um, this office alone, the mayor alone, the city council alone, NOPD alone cannot do it. And so that call to work together is so, so important right now. According to a new report released by the Metropolitan Crime Commission, just this morning there have been 143 fatal shootings in New Orleans so far this year. Live in Central City, I'm Morgan Lentis, WDSU News.